your name is not in the system, then, okay. then you don't have a confirmed appointment. You'd have to try to create one on your own. Well, you're in the wrong office for that. This is oh. a constituency office. Yes. He does have a Ministry of Education office, and you can go visit At them. Queen's Park? Yep. Yeah. That's, I went there yesterday, and if you don't have pre-approval for an interview, uh, you cannot get in. So I was recommended by a security guard to come to the constituency office. David Menzies for Rebel News here in Toronto and folks I'm at Queen's Park home of the Ontario Legislature and do you remember those videos back in the 90s you know girls gone wild well if you had to update that series today at least here in Ontario I think you would entitle those videos school boards gone wild you had a trustee by the name of Wendy Ashby state the most dangerous creature on the planet is the white Christian male they're a threat to anyone that is not them. Does this, excuse me, does this board condemn or approve this statement? Do you approve or condemn this racist, sexist, anti-Christian statement? Yes or no? Yes. Mm. Well, mm. <laughs> That's... That's what these, that's what these, that's what these people are here for. And you're... Indeed, from wokeism to critical race theory to radical transgenderism, you name it, school boards are out of control, even to the point of banning parents and media from covering publicly funded school boards. It's outrageous. So the question arises, where, oh, where, is the education minister, Stephen Lecce. He has been basically silent. In fact, the last time he was in the news, it was earlier this month and uh, Minister Lecce said, um, the pride flag is welcome at Ontario's publicly funded schools. Well, of course he said that. In any event, we have reached out to him and his communications team over and over again. We've received radio silence. So here we are at Queen's Park to pay a house call, let's see if we can get Stephen Lecce or one of his representatives to come on the record and basically ask them, when are you going to rein in these ludicrous Ontario school boards? Um, so you're suggesting we go in through there and try to make an appointment or? Well, I would make an appointment first and once once they will look up your last name to okay. see that you're entered in the system. Once okay. they found, find out, oh yeah, is this pre-registered, he's supposed to be here, they'll process you through security. If your name is not in the system, then, okay. then you don't have a confirmed appointment, you'd have to try to create one on your own. Well, as they say in Vegas, folks, the fix is in. We tried to make an appointment with Minister Lecce or one of his communications uh, persons and uh, we were told you have to get approval beforehand. So it's a catch-22, isn't it? If we don't get the approval, we can't come here and get an appointment. It's ludicrous. It's shameful, actually. And you know, there is a saying, if you're not part of the solution, then you're part of the problem. But maybe we've gone about this the wrong way. Maybe Stephen Lecce is the problem. Maybe he subscribes to wokeism and radical transgenderism and critical race theory and Black Lives Matter and banning parents and banning media from school board meetings. Maybe he is that woke despite him being a card-carrying conservative. It's baffling, but really in this world that we reside, is anything surprising anymore? I am trying to track down the ever elusive education minister for this province. That would be one Stephen Lecce. Well, let's go make a house call and see if uh, Mr. Lecce is here. We know he's not down at the legislature. They're in a recess period right now. And in fact, the security guard said this would be the best place to find him. So let's find out if Mr. Lecce is here. Open. Oh, the door's open. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Hey, how you doing there, guys? Good. Just help you. Yeah, is uh, Mr. Lecce in today? No. 
And if you have your camera on, please turn it off. Oh, why is that? Uh, because I prefer you don't videotape staff. Oh, okay. Then, uh, I mean, it says this area is under 24-hour video surveillance. Right. And, <laughs> and, I, and, and, it's be, and you're being warned that you are. You're okay. not warning me that you got me on video. Okay, so then. You well, you told me to come in. But anyways, the reason I'm here, I'm David Menzies, Rebel News. And I'm trying to find out when Mr. Lecce is going to rein in these out-of-control school boards. Okay, well, you're in the wrong office for that. This is oh. his constituency office. Yes. He does have a Ministry of Education office, and you can go visit At him. Queen's Park? Yep. Yeah, that's, I went there yesterday, and if you don't have pre-approval for an interview, uh, you cannot get in. So I was recommended by a security guard to come to the constituency office. This, this is... The constituency office in its capacity as the member of provincial parliament, not as minister of education. So I'm just wondering, is Mr. Lecce going to go to bat for the parents of Ontario and rein in these out of control school boards? You're asking the wrong office that question. He has media individuals available at his office. I understand that, ma'am, but they don't return our calls, our emails, anything. Well, I can't help you. Is he coming to the uh, constituency office at any time? Oh, okay then. Is there another day I can come by and try to get him on the record? He's, he's, he, he works 24-7 and he's usually down at Queen's Park. 24-7? Yeah. He doesn't sleep? Nope. Wow. 24-7? He's a hard worker. I, you know, I think that might be dangerous. He might be sleep deprived. Maybe that's why he's not Sorry. handing down decisions. Goodbye. Well, you said 24-7. Have a good day. <laughs> You know, folks, I couldn't help but notice that Mr. Lecce's constituency office, it kind of resembles a little schoolhouse from yester century, doesn't it? So let's uh, recap what we learned today. One is that Mr. Lecce works 24 seven. Yes, that's what his employee said. He works around the clock seven days a week. Um, do you think he might be a little sleep deprived? Or maybe he goes to sleep, but Mr. Lecce is so special. He's working while the rest of us, I don't know, are just dreaming or in some cases having a nightmare. And uh, apparently there's no stand pat answer to the staffers here in terms of whether Mr. Lecce is gonna grow a spine and rein in these out of control school boards. Or as I said earlier, maybe the wokeism, the political correctness, all of that, that's coming from the top on down that Mr. Lecce subscribes to this nonsense himself, in which case we really, really have a big problem here. But I'm gonna continue to get Mr. Lecce on the carpet and get him to explain himself. I think this is one of the most gutless ministers I've ever come across in my life. So he's well suited to the Doug Fraud uh, PC government. And in the meantime, uh, we'll do our best to cover these school boards that are, as I said earlier, absolutely out of control, being run by tin pot dictator educrats who are actually so psychotic, they think they know what's better for the children than the parents. The parents who employ them, by the way. For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Folks, I know you count on Rebel News to bring you the other side of the story, the story you are not going to get from your taxpayer-funded mainstream media. But that's the thing. We need your support. Please go to rebelfieldreports.com. That's rebelfieldreports.com. And if you can make a financial donation, no matter how small, that would be greatly appreciated.